Hello there, welcome to Tech and Cash. I hope you are doing well. So today we have another post-game commentary and I believe I played this game quite recently and this is this is this was quite an important game. So this was a semi-final for a pretty big tournament with over a hundred players and this was the semi-final game and did I already mention it was best of five? So if I could win the series, um, I would make it to the final. All right, here we go. The starting hand here. Um, just based on the first look, um, this shouldn't be too difficult pick here. Um, as I all as I've always mentioned, when you're looking at starting hand, you want to pick bird that's cheap to play and give you brown power. So in this case, both the hummingbirds and grebes are pretty good choice here. Um, especially the grebe is a good kickstart to your wetland. It allows you to see more cards and gain more cards, even though it's only zero point, but the power is really strong. So it's exactly the bird you want to play in early game. And the black chain hummingbird here, again, one food for four points, and you can use it to generate food um, typically in the grassland um, I would say you have, if you have any food generating bird and you you are not sure where to play it grassland is typically a good bet and my opponent just played a peleated woodpecker um, that's a little bit less than ideal here because um, the peleated woodpecker allows everyone to lay eggs in a cavity nest and I do not have a cavity nest so I can see my opponent definitely taking good advantage of the peleated woodpecker here um, so I went for the draw here hoping to find a cavity nest soon but unfortunately I did not find any um, I think the kingbird and the wobbler um, is pretty interesting here um, I could potentially get free grub from the kingbird the that I can use to um, play my wobbler. So um, also pretty interesting that my opponent play the whistling duck. Typically, it's not a great bird um, to play in the wetland, but um, I think it it, it makes quite a bit of sense here because that's the second cavity nest. So. That will allow my opponent to gain two eggs from the peleated woodpecker while I do not gain any eggs. So that's essentially a a two point engine in the forest there. Um, so since my opponent still haven't played additional forest bird, I think the the kingbird here was quite worth it since I I was using the cherry from the hummingbird to play it. And like I say, if I get any additional grub that can help me to play other birds. So it would be like a supplement to the food that I can get from the black chin hummingbird. All right, finally, I found a bird with the cavity nest that I can play pretty easily as well, so. And yeah, having the, the, the king bird in the second spot of wetland also allow me to draw more cards without spending eggs so um i decided not to play the kick the starling immediately because one i don't think i didn't think my opponent was going to activate the appealated woodpecker again and i didn't want to spend the grain that i have um to play the starling because the grain you know i, I could only get cherry using the hummingbird so i want to use the food that i can always get to play the starling so that worked out quite well so in the tray again quite a quite a few good bird here um the mockingbird definitely keeping an eye out for um oh i also drew the white stork um the mockingbird is nice because i can I can get another cherry from hummingbird and I already have the grub so if I really double up on the hummingbird which is not ideal so I'm only getting cherry um, and I'm giving my opponent cherry but it could help 
it could help me to um, set up a few bird by using just the free fruit from hummingbird from the grassland so I quite like the idea at the same time considering that my opponent is is playing or kind of running like a strong forest game so I also didn't really mind giving them a little bit of extra food here and it was also quite fortunate that I drew the um, white stork so again white stork is one of the um, strongest bird in the game is three food for eight points and you can play it in um, in the grassland to gain cards so and on top of that I also have the um, the Brewer's Blackbird that allows me to tug some of the card that I was I'm not gonna play so um, that works out quite well so gaming that fish here to help me to get out the store earlier so again my opponent is going all in with the forest here with the nut hatch and peleated woodpecker so that's you know three points um, that they're gaining when they game food but because I also gained one eight from the peleated woodpecker now so it's more like a two points engine um, on the other hand, I'm running a grassland here with three eggs, so that's three points. And then I'm getting two cherry that I can use to um, play birds. So I guess I have a slight advantage here um, with the with the grassland engine here. And it's also quite nice that um, I guess what's working for them is that they also found quite a few big point birds that they play with their strong forest. Um, the danger with strong forest is like sometimes you don't find any big point birds that you can play, and and then you you know if you can't make good use of the fruit that you gain, then you're not you're not making points. Um, so a pretty strong grassland that I have set up here. So I I get eggs and then I get card from the white stork. And then with Mockingbird and Hummingbird, um, I can get quite a few food there. Even though it's just cherry, um, it's not ideal in the long run. But I still have one grain here. Um, I think I, I play the Blackbird here to 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 make sure I win the the second end of round goal. Um, but that also means I spend all my food. Um, just playing the, the black bird So from now on I would only mostly be gaining cherry and hopefully occasionally some Free grub from my king bird um, So it was quite interesting that my opponent played the ruddy dug um, That was at the end of round two um, I was gonna comment Ruddy Duck when I saw it in the in the beginning of round two. I was gonna say, yeah, that's that was more of the bird that you want to watch out for. Um, it has good power. It's like the Greed where you get to see two card and keep one. Um, but at the same time, it's it's a zero point bird. So whenever I was kind of down to the option to play zero point birds at the end of round two, I always give it a second thought, um, just because I even with the good good power playing a zero point birds um, can sometimes set you back and I must say again like a little bit surprised because they they already have the shoveler so um, I, I I wasn't sure if they really needed that ruddy duck ruddy duck there um, and I and and I think the the, the Brewers blackbird really worked out well here um, for me to tuck any card that I cannot play for example the house barrel now I can tuck it with the blackbird and generate points so that was quite nice um, and I guess the unfortunate thing is that you know I I I found the raven it, it would have been way better if I if I play the raven instead of the blackbird in the long run because I can gain food or different type of food to um, to play bird, but now my grassland is full, so I cannot play the raven anymore. Um, I think I debated a little bit whether to pick up the raven or the or the black crown night heron. Um, the the nine point birds definitely 
was good for my opponent because they run a strong force, so they want big point birds. Um, but at the same time, Raven would allow them to either pivot, so that could be quite strong as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm surprised they, they did not pick up the, the, the Heron here for nine points. Um, but it was interesting. Okay. Was my, yeah, I think, I think alternatively I could have laid it one more time to refresh the tray just to make sure they don't get the Night Heron. Um, this is definitely unconventional to play the Raven here. Um, I was just looking ahead. I still have like seven or eight turns left. Um, I just can't sustain myself um, by just laying eggs and getting cherry. Um, it wouldn't allow me to play all the birds that I want to play. So I think playing playing the Raven here is is interesting because that means um, I could when I use the forest, I can gain two food. So first exchanging um, exchanging a card for food, and then I can spend one eight to get two more food. So essentially by having the Raven in the forest, I can gain four food at the same time. So I, I think that could come in handy in late game when I'm running off eight space and I really need to play more, more birds. Um, again, the, the cherry from the hummingbird can only carry me for so, f so long. And again, a lot of the, my card choices from the white store was really to deny my opponent the big point birds. So, for example, like the the eastern bluebird would have been nice for my opponent here. So, um, two more turns, X spots have fell. So I have to either play a bird or I, I pick up some food here. Um, and I could I could force down the 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 blue, the blue wing wobbler, um, or I can pick up food here to to play more birds. So I think the, those were the two options I was contemplating. Um, if I put down the wobbler, then I save one card um, for tugging. Like I didn't have to exchange one card for additional food, but. Um, at the same time, I, th I think I should have enough cards for tugging with the Blackbird, so I opt for um, I opt for just get food now. Um, also, I knew that I, I couldn't win the, the third end of round goal anyway. So, and that, that was great. So they play the Crane. Um, so the Crane allows you to discard Grain to tug two cards, and I just have the Goldfinch, which is perfect. So... Um, when they tug, I also get one tug, so that reduces, um, you know, the the number of points difference, or reduce the number of points that generate from the engine. And I like the goldfinch here as well because it has more egg spots, and it's good for my wildlife gardener um, bonus card. So that works out quite well. Um, again, didn't want to tug the wobbler because it's an eight point birds. And that's another seven points wobbler that I can play. Um, I believe I only need one more birds for for the for the for the wildlife gardener. So, but seven or eight point birds in late game, um, you still take it. So we have four turns left, playing two birds. That means I can lay eggs two more times, and I definitely have all the food that I needed to play the bird. Um, pretty difficult late game for my opponent there, I guess. Um, neither their forest or their grass end was particularly strong in terms of point generating. So, um, and it's not great when you had to draw a card in late round four because it's always a gamble. Um, if you if you didn't draw any big point birds or bonus card bird, um, that that could be quite unfortunate. Um, so again, I was quite surprised that when when the Night Crown Heron show up for nine points. They did not pick that up. Um, again, just thinking what card to deny. Um, I think the seven points runner. 
was a better deny here, but again, I I I don't I I wasn't expecting I my opponent to pick up more cards here because it is getting very late into round four. So and yeah, with two more turns, three more turns left, um, I could play both Wobbler and then lay eggs and. Yep, they they play the cow bit there. Um, again, a little bit late. Maybe it was good for that bonus card somehow. Um, good thing that you know I already did most of my lay for this round. I was just gonna play play one more bird and at most lay one more time eggs, so that would give them one free eggs. So that was that works out quite well. And the, the, the last turn is the last turn was gonna be massive here because I can exchange one food for extra eggs and then I can tuck on the blackbird twice because I have a mockingbird. Um so that was like uh a, a nine point turns. Yeah, so that was that was quite a good last last legs there and i also i also had the starling so the extra cherry from the hummingbird could feed the starling so the extra one point so that was really a 10 points play and i also got free grub so that's another point so um the the late game really worked out quite well um in this case um i think overall i was feeling pretty confident even going into the point scoring here um, just because my engine was very strong from the very start and there you go a 20 points win pretty solid um, and yeah it it all really started from two birds um, two really great birds for starting hand um, when you have the hummingbird and a grip so you can generate food in the grassland using hummingbird the grip helped help me to dig for a lot of cards and then of course the the pivot Pivotal points here is also finding the Mockingbird that allows me to repeat the Hummingbird and also the White Stork um, to allow me to gain card in the Grassland and then on top of that having the Blackbird that allows me to um, tuck extra card that I'm not playing so everything just kind of came together and built this strong Grassland here well that was the game there, there you have it I hope you enjoy watching this as always, thanks for watching and I hope you s hope to see you in the next one.